uh, it's a subspecies of annual leek, so it's very closely related to annual leek. Although the flavour is not the same, it's more garlicky. Uh, if anybody want to try a bit of leaf, you, you're welcome to. It's quite strongly garlicky, okay? Um, uh, and basically, in the in the right through from autumn until spring, it looks identical to an annual leek, and you use it like an annual leek. So you can either um, uh, you can pull up or dig up whole plants, in which case it's not perennial anymore, of course, or you can cut them off at soil level and it will regrow. But of course, you don't get such a length of stem if you do that. Um, I often do actually pull up, just pull up whole plants because it's so easy to grow, it doesn't matter if not all of them are perennial. Um, and then what happens in late spring, they put up flower head as you can see. Um, it produces flowers but does not produce seed. Instead it produces a head of bulbils which you can just see starting to, to grow on, uh, on these. Now the, um, these papery bits are split open, you can just see at the bottom the bulbils, like little cloves of garlic, just starting to grow. It produces a head of those. And in the wild, as that grows, and they grow, this gets heavier, and the thing bends over, touches the ground, and some of those bulbils root, and so it walks around. So the, the Egyptian walking onion, and any of you who have grown that, does a similar thing. Uh, they basically walk around to move. Um, but what I do to propagate this, I harvest those bulbils in, in uh, late summer. I just broadcast them, I just throw them around uh, where I think they're going to grow, and I don't do anything else. And then the first year there'll be very thin plants, so some of the, some of the thin weedy ones you can see, um, like this, you know, they're about a centimetre diameter, they'll be for one year old plants, too young to use yet. Second and third year old plants are much thicker. Uh, they, will, they will never get, you know, they'll never get to sort of uh, three and a half centimetre diameter, like, like annual leeks will in a rich soil where you've weeded them incessantly, you know, and spent all your life looking after them. But, you know, they take me five minutes a year to grow, so it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, I'll just pull up a few extras instead. Um, so this, after flowering, it goes dormant to a bulb for about a month in um, uh, most of August. And then in September it starts growing again and looks exactly like a leek again. And so uh, you can harvest the bulb as well if you want. It's like a big clove of garlic, but not subdivided. It's one entire bulb with the same flavour as, uh, as uh, the rest of the plant. So Is it's a really easy perennial leek to grow. Is it is it all garlic quite garlicky the, the perennial leek, yeah. Yeah. All parts of the plant. Yeah, all parts quite garlicky. Yeah. And also uh, it's it's proven very shade tolerant, more so than I expected because of course it's a seashore plant or, or, or you know, grows on sand near the coast. Uh, and tolerant of quite heavy soils as well. This has actually self propagated itself right under these shrubs over to my left here. Uh, where it's growing fine under there, so it's actually very, very shade tolerant as well, much more so than I expected. Do you um, tend to harvest them before they flower while they're tender? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, you know, I wouldn't harvest them no. now. The, these, are, these flowering stalks, like yeah. on annual leeks, they'll be tough. Um, yeah. Yeah. And behind you is an apple. That's an apple, yeah, that's an apple. Um, although it's got several different varieties.